So for today, we're going to be looking at bombardiers. This didn't get asked for, but I actually just wanted to make this video because I I really do love the bombardiers. And yeah, this is really just wanted. This is a me video for me. All right. If you guys want to if you guys want your own video, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to make that video. If I've already made that video, I'll just forward you to that current video because I've made quite a few of these. So again, if you guys want to see your exotic pop up, let me know in the comments below. A lot of people have asked for exotics and I've made mo almost all of the videos for them. Uh, so yeah, just be aware that I am open to making videos for you guys. So just ask and you might receive. So before we get started, let me just say this real quick. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, it really does help. It motivates me to make more content for you guys, it helps the algorithm, and it also helps my analytics, and it also helps me sleep at night. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, and just, I appreciate you guys. That's all I'm really trying to say. So before we get started with Bombardiers, let's actually see what it actually does. Parting gift. Dodging leaves behind an explosive that detonates after a short delay, damaging targets around it, and creating a secondary effect based on your subclass energy type. Uh, arc blinds targets, solar scorches targets, void suppresses targets, and stasis slows targets. Um, unfortunately, the suppress actually doesn't suppress like supers and stuff. It just makes you slower. So that's unfortunate, unless they changed it, but that's how it used to be. And the Scorch, I don't remember if it was worth it or not. I, To be fair, I haven't used it since the changes. At least I haven't used it in PvE, I should say. I've been using it in, in PvP here and there. But mostly for like the blind and slow target stuff. Uh, not for Suppression or Scorch. So, if you guys don't let me know in the comments below. I really love this exotic. I've been using this exotic since it first came out. And I was loving it. I, I'll show you guys a clip right now. But... It was such a fun exotic back in the day. It's still fun. It's just, it's not viable by any means. At least for me personally, I don't think it's viable. As for how it actually looks, I think it looks really cool. Very Japanese themed. You're definitely going to want to combine Japanese pieces with this because the more pieces that are Japanese themed, the better it's just going to look overall. Almost like it's from a full set, which is kind of like your goal as a fashion player. I don't know. Someone who does fashion in Destiny 2. That's kind of your motivation. Make a piece, make a set that looks like it's just from one whole set. I think when you get that compliment, like, why are you using the whole set? It's like, it's not a whole set. They're different pieces. For me, that's like the biggest compliment someone can give you. As for how it shaders, I think it shaders really, really well. The only unfortunate part is that the gold lining in the pants don't change color. But it's, for me, it's fine because... It's such a, like, I, I shouldn't say it's a small detail because it's, it's, it's everywhere, but it, it's not like traditional gold where it's like super shiny. So I think that's what really benefits because if it was shiny, I think it would be bad. So yeah, I think, I think Echo Anger looks amazing with it. I think Abyss and Yen look, gold looks really good with it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As for the example set, I do have two because that's what we usually do if an, or if an exotic doesn't have an ornament. For the first look, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I wanted to show you guys it anyways because I just wanted to give you guys options. So for the first helmet or for the first for the helmet, we're using the iron truage cask just because for me, it is very Japanese themed because of the, the lower jaw part for the for the arms reason the forbidden visage grips just because the chest piece looks kind of bulky which is why i'm using the forbidden visage because it is bulky as well speaking of chest piece we're using the praetorian ornament and this is unobtainable anymore so un unfortunately if you don't have this you just don't have this for the cloak we're using the neoteric kiosk cloak because it's one of my favorite cloaks in the game so before we get to the second ornament, I want to talk a few things here and there. When you see the second look, just be aware that a lot of these pieces are interchangeable. And this is why I wanted to have these two pieces specifically, uh, because one set, the first one specifically, I'm like, OK with it. Like It doesn't look terrible, but I will probably will never wear it. And the reason I say this is because the first set also has pieces where I'm like, this looks good. But it's like, it feels like it's missing something. And I'll show you guys why after. For the second example set, we're using the Iron Forerunner mask. 
in combination with the La Goddess Cloak because I feel like those two pair so well together. For the arms, you're using the Iron Simiki Grip specifically because, I mean, you can't get more Japanese than this. Uh, same thing with the chest piece. I think chest piece is very Japanese themed. And that's pretty much it. So the thing that I wanted to pre pretty much show you guys is the fact that a lot of these pieces are interchangeable. Like, let's say you don't like the Iron Fellowship vest, but you do like the Praetorian ornament. I think you can interchange those and it's still going to look amazing. Like, let's say, oh, instead of the Iron Foreigner mask, you want to use the Iron Truage cask. Personally, I wouldn't do that because when you put the Iron Truage helmet with the Lagatis cloak, it actually clips on the top, unfortunately. But if you don't care about that, go ham. It's going to look cool. There's a lot of things you can do with this set. Unfortunately, a lot of the pieces that go well with these boots is from Iron Banner, specifically previous seasons of Iron Banner, which are unfortunately unobtainable currently. Thankfully, Bungie has told us that they are bringing armor back. We don't know when, but they have told us that they're bringing armor back. So for sure, like Iron Fellowship stuff, the Iron Simiki stuff, those two pieces, those two sets together should be more than enough to, to like hold you off because those two pieces are very Japanese themed. There is another set that I personally don't really like, which is the Iron Remembrance armor. I personally don't think it looks good because it's too bulky. That being said, I think the chest piece is the best piece for the hunters. But other than that, I think the Iron Fellowship stuff and the Iron Simiki stuff is going to be better suited for this piece specifically. So just be aware of that. Other than that, that's pretty much it. This one was going to be a fast video because it only has one look, which is the default look. And I wanted to make this video because this is one of my favorite chest or because this is one of my favorite boots in the game because I just think it looks amazing. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, if you guys want to see a certain exotic, let me know in the comments below. I'll get started on it. But other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.